All right, guys, this is what you're going to need. You're going to need yourself some wide egg noodles. They ain't got to be light and fluffy and whatever. You get whatever dang brand you like, as long as they egg noodles. You're going to get yourself some cream of mushroom, a can of cream of chicken, some sweet peas. That's just my touch. You ain't got to do that part. You can omit that if you want. Four cups of chicken broth. And you want like an eighth cup of onions, just an eighth cup, not much of them. SPG, salt, pepper, garlic. Tablespoon of butter. Three to four stalks of uh, celery. All right, y'all. Then I'm uh, season this with some salt and pepper. SP, salt and pepper. And as you know, I cut slits in this chicken. I'm so thick. I cut slits in it so some of the seasoning go in the meat and it'll cook a little faster. I'm fixing to go out there and put it on the Big Easy. And that's got some hickory chips in it, which I don't need that, but I'm going to do that. And that'll be all you need for you some noodles. You ain't got to eat out the bag all the time. Which of We got them. We got them. There's some more somewhere, I think, but we got them. Right out here at the Big Easy, this gonna make some people jealous, you know. They got snow going on, we got nice green grass. Look, look at the greenage. Yeah, we got it. We got green grass and barbecuing. Oh, man. I'm gonna put these uh, chickens on here right quick. See if I can switch them up, switch them up. I'm going to put the presentation side up first. What I mean by the presentation side, which it don't matter. It don't matter right now. Which is this side that I scored. Alright y'all, this is how we're going to do it here. That's so, like I told you once before, if you ever like walk away and be like, oh man, I gotta go do something. You say, oh, I forgot my stuff was on. They won't stick. That's the reason I do that. Put that chicken broth in. Now I'm gonna get some more water, just in case I gotta add water. Don't matter, I'm gonna add water, you know, but I'm still gonna add seasoning, so eh, it's all good. And y'all know what I'm gonna do? I like, I like spicy noodles. Alright. Uh, these are for this recipe is for the regular, but me, I like spices, so I'm gonna do something different here. Not really different. I'm gonna add a little crushed red pepper. Alright. Just a little bit of cayenne. Probably a uh, half teaspoon. No. Quarter teaspoon. And a little bit of just regular black pepper. Because it's not enough in my SPG to, for the ratio. And just to give it that black pepper oomph, crush. Peppercorns. While that's heating up, put that tablespoon of butter in there. Mm. That's gonna do it, little thing. I'm gonna go ahead and check on this chicken. Go ahead and add these other, let's see, two, four cups of water right there. I might end up putting one more cup for that coverage. Yeah, let me get one more cup out of you. Excuse me, excuse me, y'all. Excuse me, excuse me. I think I'm gonna do 
Yeah. Let's see. One of them. That's one and a half cups. So it's five and a half cups of water and four cups of chicken broth. I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle my little. I make a little four, not four, but a quarter cup of onion. You know, that is. Then while I'm waiting on that to do this little barley ball, go ahead and chop these uh, celeries up. While you got this pot up the boiler, add your celery. Go ahead and check on this chicken right quick again. Ah, you know, just gotta go get chicken. I don't want it to get overdone. Now that that celery I got partially done, and we got a rolling ball going on. Or the Eddie Lewis. Just like that. As you can see, I done got the beautiful chicken off of the Big Easy. Juicy, yeah. Get a quick stir like that. Give it two pinches. Oh. Give it two pinches of SPG. Another stir. And that should do a ball for my five, seven, nine, twelve minutes. That's depending on the uh, tenderness of you want of your noodles. Five, seven, nine, twelve minutes. I'm gonna let that come back up to a rolling ball, which it is now. Then I'm gonna turn the heat down to let it just simmer a little bit. And I'm gonna cut this chicken up. So, you know, manageable pieces to throw off in the pot. Don't want it shredded. So, as you can see, I'm doing that right now. See how the, see how the little pieces is? That's gonna go in that pot. Okay, off camera, I've been giving this a stir or two. Just to make sure it ain't sticking. So now, I'm gonna turn this fire back up. Let it start rolling again. Add that chicken. Up to a roll, turn them back down again. Now I'm gonna let that simmer just a little bit, just a little bit. Now that that's up to a roll and boil here, yeah? go ahead, your peas. Now I'm gonna drain this. Oh, finally, it's getting dull there. Drain them up. Peace. All right. One can of cream old chicken. Can of cream old mushroom. Your mama didn't tell you about that cream mushroom. Ugh. I don't want to 
how to use this. Once you get this stirred up and incorporated in there real good, without making a mess, like I'm doing. Once you get it all stirred up, you just simmer this pot down. I'm going to tell y'all something about this stuff here. The next day is better. After it done thickened up real good and, and all the chicken and absorbed all the juices, man. I mean, you can have it soupy as you want it. I usually don't use this pot, so I'm kind of throw it on my my stuff here. So I'm gonna let that simmer a little bit. Let that simmer while I kind of spiffy up. Here's your outcome. But you know what I'm fixing to do? I'm finna bust my neck. <laughs> Get the chicken bits. Okay. Oh man, it's snowing outside somewhere, but not here. <laughs> I'm finna go bust it up, y'all.